That's good. I mean, we can always have like walls and things like that. Yeah. I can have a door, but oh, we can always do that later, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, oh, bathtub. Anyway, do so we have what? Any sensors right now? Let's see. Oh, Oops, wow. no sensor. Huh, what what is that so? Yeah. I mean, we plug in all the stuff and it says no yeah. sensor. But I mean, you know, it's not like the website would know, right? I oh, mean, yeah, there's no true. way. Oh, oh, look at that button. There's What's a that? Discover what? button. What the heck is the discover button going to do? I'm assuming what it does is, like, it goes and talks to all Zigbee nodes and gets, gets a list of all the sensors oh. and, you know, just displays them out. Oh. And let's it, it must it. use it must go it must go through the iDigi platform and like talk to the device. Oh and yeah, then you have like ask that device, hey, can you find all the sensors? Oh yeah, exactly, because our device is behind the firewall, so you know, like oh. it must have been go gone through iDigi. Yeah, so we could do this anywhere in the world. Yep, that's oh, awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. All right, it's in progress. Oh wow, oh, I like that little <laughs> status out there. Interesting. Oh, oh there wow. it is. Look at oh, that. My God. We got two motion sensors. A light LT, light and temperature, the yeah. dizzy thing. We have two of them, yeah. And oh, then yeah. we have two vents and then a, that, and one light. Light, that, oh, one, awesome. that light lamp. So, I guess these are drag and drop too. Oh yeah, they are. Ah. Perfect drag and oh, drop. Look, look at that, that light. <laughs> Where do you want to put it? In the living room? Yeah, oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's put that in there. A vent. I would like vent in my room. Okay. Uh, you know what, I'll just make that a... Oh, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so I'll put that in the living room, right here. Yeah. Let's grab that motion sensor and put him somewhere. It don't matter. Put him in the living room. Put the motion sensor in the living room. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems like it's moving. <laughs> yeah. What the heck's that attachment? Ah, we'll find out. Oh, we'll right. figure it out, yeah. yeah. Attach, attach motion. We'll see, I don't yeah. know. So, what else? What else haven't we dragged? The LTs, right? The light temperatures? Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, it has an attached too. Oh, wow. That's I wonder what that is. Okay, we'll right. figure it out. Yeah. Okay. I'll just put it in between yeah. living we'll room and later, bedroom. Yeah. Oh, is, is that another light temperature? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. perfect. Let's put it around somewhere. Alright, that hmm. will be somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. Let's go green. Uh, That's not good. Is there anything else? What does that button do? I don't know. I mean, I mean, from what I've read, that doesn't it, um... Do something it has to like configure some stuff in the device, like the oh, DR, right? Oh yeah, the YML file. Oh well, yeah, I that's hate right. Doing that. That I mean, one, it, yeah, those, I hate that because it's it, not dynamic, right? Yeah, like, yep. oh yeah, exactly. and and all the spacing problems, and oh. you need to type in your own extended address. Oh, like, well, who knows what an extended yep, address exactly. is, right? Exactly. I mean, it's like I don't. Six, sixteen characters and things like that. Oh my god! Mean. So this thing, this must dynamically generate like, generate a YML file. Let's check it based out. on all those, oh, and then push it awesome. up through yep. the IDG platform to the device. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I guess we'll see if it happens. All right, let's see. All right, so go green. Okay. Oh, look at that! It's going yeah, green. Yeah, yeah. It probably has to reboot the device. Oh, and yeah, knowing that, it's, it's probably going to take two yeah, minutes. Let's try pinging the device, see if it's rebooting it or not. Do you remember the IP address? Oh, I think it's one three. Yeah, that one. Dot one dot. Oh, so yeah, it's yeah. not finding it, so it's, it's rebooting really right, yeah. So what it's doing is it's like uploading the YML file and then setting, uploading the, what what else it should be uploading? Oh, I think that's it, right? Because yeah, I did upload, device. let's see, because I think by factory the DIA mm -hmm. comes on it, oh, right? With all the Python and stuff yep, like awesome. that. Mm -hmm. So then this just uploads the new YML file. Oh, yep, and reboots it and then yeah. gives a command to run the Python code. Yeah, that's true, yep. that's true. Yeah, well, you, wanna, you, you didn't want to take a look at the YML file at all once or not. Now we can... Yeah. I like all these glossy icons and all these Web 2.0 style designs. It's just amazing. Yeah. Yep, and everything is like, you know, it, I guess it uses Ajax or something. Oh, wow. Without yeah. refreshing a page. I bet, yeah, all the JavaScript and everything yeah. inside, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I've never seen any JavaScript like this before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it seems like we're done going green. Oh, sweet. So let's hit the view button and see what we can all do. Alright, let's do it. Look at all those buttons. Oh, wow. Turn that light on right there. Alright, yeah. I guess it's this button, right? Come on. It's probably... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it probably takes a long time to go all the way up oh, yep. through I'll their server and up here, yeah. yeah. Oh, so let's try turning it off again. Yeah. Well, it, it even shows in the screen, like, you know, all the status yeah. and all. That's, That's pretty amazing. Sick. Wow. Let's see, can okay. we turn the indicate, like, I don't know which vent this is, like, I don't know which vent is which on the screen and stuff like oh, that. Okay. Is, is there any way you can turn an indicator on or something like that? I believe this is what this little button does. So let me just turn this on.
Oops, oh, wow. One. It's this one right here. Oh, awesome. You see that? Oh my god, it's an indicator yeah. light. So if right. you don't know which one it's which, that's what you do. That's how easy it is. Wow, that's pretty simple. No Perfect. thinking involved. Yep, I, I just turn it off now. Yeah, wow. The vent's closed. Can we open it? Uh, let's do it. Let's see. So we just hit the button, huh? Oh, oh dear, my god, you see that? Wow, just from the website, one yeah. easy click, wow. That's amazing. Look at the website, it has all those like... Oh wow, it even, it even opens, wow. <laughs> Yeah, sweet. It just closed. Oh, you did? Yeah, it closed. Yeah, that was good. That's, that's fine. Oh, that's awesome. That's fine. Okay, cool. Let's so, see. what what hey. else do you want to do? Wait a second. Did we get two light bulbs? I thought so. Where's, where's that box? Oh, that? Take that like box. Here. Oh, oh we Dennis, just you're so forgetful. <laughs> Come but, on. But we can always plug it in, it's all drop in. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's like well, I, I guess try it, sweet. Let's plug it in over here. Alright, let's do it. Alright, here, here's a light bulb. Oh, sweet, wow. Oh. It's crazy how these things don't need any batteries or anything. Yeah, exactly. I, I guess it has a transformer or something transformer, inside. Transformer, like a regulator and stuff yeah. like that. It's probably that's cool. It. You don't need to worry about changing batteries every you know, year or something. Yeah. So, what do we do next then? I guess we have to go back to edit, right? Because we want to oh, edit our layout. Yep. I guess, yeah, let's see. Okay, let's see. This. I guess try to discover a new oh, sensor. Okay, alright, let's do it. <clears throat> oh, look at that, it found it. Like are you one. serious? Oh, yep, wow, awesome. that was pretty easy, right? Yep. And it knows like what are is what are already being used, and it only displays yeah. those that are not being used. Oh, wow. So let's drag and drop it. Oh, look at that! Another another light bulb. Wow, that's amazing. Let's go green. Again. All right. So yeah, we gotta get. Well, this let's one. attach. Yep. So, so how about we attach the? Let's see. So, so it. click it. Okay, select a device. Yeah, let's select this device here. Wasn't it that one? Oh yeah. All right, there it is. Oh, oh look at wow. that! What is that? It detaches it, wow. It Look at that, you can like drag and drop, they go together, so... Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, we'll have to hmm. see what that does. Uh, so, define desired temperature. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, what's what that? does that mean? Oh, I think, I remember reading oh, about okay. this. So, basically, what this means is that if you have a vent mm -hmm. and you associate an LTH to that yeah. vent, if, when you set the desired temperature, it, the vent will, well, the LTH will manage the vent opening and closing. Oh, so, basically, good. this is the idea, mm -hmm. you know, it's like making a Automatic. thermostat obsolete you yep. can do zone management of your entire house then. Oh, so it's awesome. the idea that like if i wanted to uh, if i have my heat on and i want it to be like only up to 65 degrees in some room i don't normally mm -hmm. use then the vent will stay open until it gets to 65 and oh, then it'll close awesome. that's perfect so, yeah. so let's try let's try say, let's like 24 celsius 24. okay yeah. that sounds good 24 degrees celsius all right sweet let's, let's do, that. do that yeah let's attach the motion to the um to the to this light we just put in too Alright, so it's saying saving. Oh, it's oh, unsaving. Oh, wow. look at that, yeah. So, let's, you know, let's attach, attach and just this bulb. Yeah, that bulb, the one we just put in. Oh, look okay. at that. Sweet. Yeah, Sweet. in this one I read that basically what this does is it'll associate the motion sensor to oh, that specific perfect. light so, bulb. So when, when you, you walk, walk in, in it yeah. just turns on. Yep, and then also I read that after five seconds of not detecting any motion, it'll automatically turn it off. That's perfect. Yep. It's saving a lot of energy. Yep, exactly. Yes. And I read that it doesn't even have to this is all done on the device so it's idea oh, that you the, the actual you know the so, website doesn't do yeah, anything for other. some reason if there's a network failure or server crashes or something it will yeah. still function it'll be extremely fast and yep. you know efficient That's perfect so, so all right let's go green again then. let's go green yeah we're done going green so go to view again or uh, yeah, can we set the desired temperature? Yeah, yeah that's nice that. How many hours do you want? Uh, let's see, maybe, let's do 23. Alright, okay. It's saving it. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. Uh -huh. So let's go to view then. That's where you control all devices and all. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at the vent. Just oh, open. it's open. Yeah, wow. Well, it it must be because the temperature is lower than 20. Four. Yeah, so since the, temp the real temperature is lower than 24, that must mm -hmm. mean that open the vent to oh, allow yep. it to get up to yep, what we exactly. want to get. Awesome. Oh, Alright, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to demo that. Let's see. So then that means that the light, we can go and check out the light to see if the motion is Oh, yeah, let's light. go. Yeah. So if we just walk in here. 
Oh, oh, look at that. That's, that's pretty nice, yeah. yeah. You did it in motion from that sensor and turn it down. Yeah, so it detected the motion and then it went back to the device yeah. or whatever and then, yeah, it turned that That's up. awesome. So, now we're going to test to see how well it works when it's um, the vent to attached to the temperature sensor. So basically what this means is that our desired temperature is currently set higher than what the current temperature in the room is, so that means that the vent will be open. Yep. But with this hair dryer, we're going to simulate heat coming out of the vent and heating up the temperature sensor. That's All right, so let's do it. So, so that means if you, if you put this in the freeze, then it should open yeah, itself, right? Yeah, stick that thing in the freezer. Alright, let's do it. You can just leave it in there. It'll probably get colder faster. Alright. So, let's see. Oh, it's about to. Oh, look at that, it opened. Oh, wow, sweet. That's perfect, awesome. All right, yeah. All right, so we can all, I heard that we could also view the usage data and all, mm -hmm. like in a graphical representation. So let's just check it out. Cool. Oh, look at that, all this graph. Let's see. let's see the temperature. Did it go down when we put it in the freezer? Oh, look at that, it, it went yeah, down. It did, yeah. mm -hmm. So this is LT, light, light temperature sensor. Blue on, blue is the temperature, it goes down. Okay, so yeah. Nice. Alright. We're gonna log out and show how all the stuff stays. So. Alright, so let's log out. Let's close the browser too. Oops. All right, so login, username. Select house. It is level one, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, there it yeah. is. So it basically saves everything. Right. So if I hit that button, it will turn on that light, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah, awesome. I turned on. It's sweet. So. Perfect. Yep. All right. Wow. This so is look at that. Sweet. Yep. It it even shows all the temperature and light in this room. That's pretty sweet. So awesome. yeah, now we now we can get more vents and more temperature sensors, and then we could yeah. put a vent in every single room, and then yeah. basically manage Save the energy. zone on every yeah. single one. So it's like if we in our storage in this storage room, we wouldn't yeah. have to you know yep. heat it very much. And why would you hit all those guest room and all when no. there's no one around? Exactly, and it's like yeah. with the motion sensor, you can look at the data to see when the motion is and when people are there, yeah. and then you can basically turn stuff on and off. Yeah, that. exactly. And since it logs everything, you can pretty much like analyze this this data and you know like okay. do predictions and things like that in future. All right. So all right. All right, so do we want to go and do just a brief, let's like kind of do an impromptu expl explanation of everything. Um, we hope that you liked our little demo that we had, but there's quite a bit of different things that go on behind the scenes. So we're just going to kind of briefly go over just kind of everything that is happening. Uh, we'll kind of start with just the hardware. So basically, um, we have the light here, and when we were thinking about making it, we really wanted it not, no, not to use batteries. So this basically just kind of consists of an XB module, a uh, transformer, relay, transistor, and then regulator, I think. Yeah, and also we also wanted to make it like e as easy as possible to set up. So what we did was we have this like, you can just plug this in in any regular socket and plug in your light bulb, and there it is, Zigbee enabled light bulb. Mm -hmm. So do you want to open it and so what we have? Um, well, I don't know. do you want to do that or do you want to just just do this stuff briefly? Okay, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We can just okay, yeah, let's open it up. Bit, yeah, just so what we have. Why don't you come in? So what we have is we have a Zigbee relay and a transformer. Yep. Cool, yeah. Alright. It's amazing all that stuff fits in such a little area. Yep. And <laughs> it looks so professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
All right, so All right. set this aside. Yeah. So then we have the vent. Um, this vent has this little detachable little module, I guess you'd call it. And um, inside here, basically, we just have we have the LED. We have four transistors, resistors, and then we have the XB module along with the batteries. So basically, that we have we use three digital uh, outputs: one for the LED, and then two for controlling the motor, either opening or closing mm -hmm. the vent. And as you can see from the video, the, our initial prototype was pretty bad, but yeah, we made it a lot better. better. Yeah. yeah. So uh, then we have the motion sensor. Do you want to explain yeah. how that works real quick? Because yeah, just kind of briefly really yeah. explain. Yeah. So this is just a prototype motion sensor. What we have is we have this adapter for Zigbee. The only reason for using this was it was like easy to use, just plug and play. So we kind of use this uh, adapter from Adaptfruit.com, and we have this motion sensor. What it does is like. So as soon as it detects motion, it will send an input and that an analog output. And output goes in this microcontroller and then this microcontroller communicates with Zigbee whenever there is a motion. So basically, and Zigbee will transmit data to its coordinator every second. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And we have used only one analog pin. That's pin number two or something. Yeah. Much and we, we've been having some problems with this motion sensor because this motion s sensor isn't the greatest, but yeah. I'm sure we can find some better yeah. ones or whatever. Um, I don't. You want to explain like the registration process because you know, like the, what the whole like digi thing or whatever, and how that all works oh. seamlessly with the website. Yeah, sure. So basically, look, we wanted to make everything as simple as possible, as less few clicks as possible. So what we did was, when you register, you basically register in our. We go to our website and then you log, you enter your username, password, and everything. And then when you create a new house, what we ask you is we ask you to enter your gateway's MAC address. So once you get that MAC address, when you hit submit, what we do is we do HTTP post to IDG server and create a new account on your username. And then what we provision the device into the IDG server doing a HTTP post. And then device will automatically connect to the IDG server. So that's how it kind of works. And then so when you hit that go green button, what it does is it generates a YML file dynamically and then uploads it into a device then what it does is it reboots, reboots the device and sends a command to a device saying hey run this dr.python file and that's pretty much it so it basically does everything behind the scene with just a single click mm -hmm. do you want to kind of explain the website just maybe a little more like with um just like the layout and stuff and whatever mm -hmm. i don't know is there anything else you want to say about the website yeah, let's see drag and drop what else Oh, how it auto updates in the database oh, and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, so we have on um, the device using the um, CWM exist presentation layer, and it just pushes up its all the samples up to the the IDG platform every like mm -hmm. five ten seconds or yeah. something like that. And then we have an, one of our own scripts that basically does a, a pretty cool X query and just grabs all of the um, samples in just mm -hmm. one file parses it out and then puts it into a MySQL database yeah. so we can locally query it as many times as we want so we don't yeah. have to worry about the throttles. Yeah. And what our website does is like every 10 seconds or 5 seconds is, it goes and locally queries those data from the database and updates all the sensors, GUI, without refreshing a page. Mm -hmm. And also <laughs> when we made our website we wanted to make it like as professional as possible so we had like a really nice design and web 2.0 stuff. We had like glossy, round, glossy icons, round cor corners, and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we made the website, we wanted to make it really simple, easy to use, intuitive. So we had all these drag and drops. You could s basically drag and drop uh, sensors, drag and drop like mm -hmm. objects on your house, and create create a layout of your house. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, okay. Explain the the go green button. Did you explain the discover button? So like the discover button. Did you mm -hmm. mention that at all or whatever? Yeah. We, basically, we yeah. Talk was, about yeah. That big okay. Yeah. So then um, for the DIA, basically all these things is kind of interacting with the DIA through RCI and like SCI mainly. But um, so with the DIA, we had to make three new drivers. We made the XP Light, the mm -hmm. XP Vent, and the XP mm -hmm. Motion. And those yeah. three drivers, they're based, they're they're all new, but they're based off of the XP D, um, DIO. DIO. Right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. 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 Digital input output. Yeah. And, and then. Um, we also modified LTH. Yeah, so we, we modified the, the LTH, the XP sensor driver. So, um, and then we, we also added one method to the XP manager, which basically allows us to have um, these devices communicate, you know, amongst each other, uh, just from the, the X4. So, yeah, basically.